utilized. But as far as I'm concerned, the task... Now, Kenyans uh, recently got to know the extent of the standoff between Kenya and uh, Somalia after three officials with uh, diplomatic passports were denied entry at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. This was intercept, in, inter, interpreted as escalation of the diplomatic standoff over the maritime boundary dispute between the two nations and uh, Kenya's displeasure at the reported sale by Somalia of oil blocks in the contested area. And though no deal has been struck between the two countries following this part, Somalia still denies claims that it auctioned the controversial oil and gas blocks located in a contested maritime border in the Indian Ocean. Now, there are those who are calling for the peaceful resolution of the standoff. Hamza Yusuf reports from Garissa. All right, uh, well, let's uh, bring in Hamza Yusuf now live uh, with that. Hamza, uh, it is a standoff that uh, threatens the uh, livelihoods of Kenyans who draw uh, any business from Somalia and vice versa. What more can you tell us? Well, this is creating uh, the international community, of course, are watching keenly on what is happening between Kenya and Somalia. And the issue here is about maritime. Uh, we remember. Uh, some officials from Somalia were denied entry uh, in about few about a month ago and this has really created a lot of reactions on the on the social media uh, we understand this is not the first two countries in Africa who had you know a, a dispute problem uh, DRC had problem with Angola they solved we understand that Nigeria Cameroon so these are some of the things that actually people are looking into on how to get solution many people are asking uh, Kenya, of course, will remain neighbor to Somalia, and this is something that come to an end. Uh, with me here is Professor Abdi Wahab, who is a uh, Horn of Africa commentator. If you can join us, Prof. Uh, you said, uh, if you can look at the camera, Kenya and Somalia, you said, must, come, must uh, look beyond the upcoming uh, verdict in, 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 in ICJ. I mean, what came to your mind? In Kenya foreign policy towards Somalia, must look beyond, you know, international court of this verdict. Somalia is a neighbor. It can be a neighbor for, for, forever. So the regional stability, the regional peace and stability is more important than what you call oil and gas. If the oil and gas are disturbing the stability of the region, then we don't need it. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and maybe uh, you have been, you write so many articles about Kenya and Somalia. Uh, where is the issue? You know, before, before, before we go into that issue, you know, we there is a similar incident, similar similar issue, some similar maritime dispute between you, between what they call uh, Nigeria and Cameroon. Uh, Nigeria was behaving the way the Kenyans are now is behaving, and in fact, the the court you know ruled in favor of Cameroon. Again, there is a dispute between DRC Congo and Angola. In fact, DRC was behaving the the, the way Kenya is behaving right now, and a section of the maritime dispute was in fact you know rule in favor of, of what they call in, 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 in Angola. So after the, you know, after that, the, after, the, after the bitter disagreement between the two nations, now they move on. They are, they are neighbors. They don't have any problem at all. So whatever it is, either, you know, if they, if they, if they rule in favor of Kenya, well and good. If they rule in favor of Somalia, well, there's no bitter disagreement. We move on. You know, the stability and the peace of this region is more important than oil and gas. Yes. People are still questioning uh, and they're saying uh, denying Somalia officials who were to attend an uh, international meeting in Nairobi uh, was not advisable. Is this something that you think Kenya would have thought before they do so? You know, UN Habitat, the headquarters of UN Habitat is in, in Nairobi as we speak right now. Why? Because, mainly because, well, you know, they choose Kenya for two reasons. Reason number one, you know, Kenya is a democratic state. Kenya is a highly respectful nation among the, 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 the world community. Secondly, uh, the Kenyan society at large, they are hospitable to the foreigners. For two reasons, you know, the UN Habitat became the headquarters. It's only a yeah, UN headquarters in Africa. So if they deny, you know, some, you know, officials who came from Somalia was attending international conference, it's very uncalled for, honestly speaking. It's what they call, uh, the world will not expect Kenya to, to behave like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, 
if, if, if uh, we understand that it's uh, six months to go, the verdict of ICG, of course, will come out. It can go either way, as you said. Uh, Kenya has been hosting refugees for the last 20 years plus. We understand uh, prominent people like Ilhan Omar, uh, U.S. Congress, Senator of course, and a minister in Canada, uh, came through Kenya. Is this something that you think might ruin, I mean, relationship between Kenya and Somalia because of the refugees? Do you think this will have, uh, of course, a negative impact, if at all, uh, maybe Somalia? Somalia will win this case. Let me tell you one thing. You know, no, no doubt, no question about that. Kenya has invested a lot in Somalia. Kenya is hosting of the largest refugee population in Africa. Most of them are Somali origin. No question about that. Kenya, in, in that in that process, there is a prominent personality in the world. For instance, the current Minister for Immigration and Citizens of, of, of Canada. He was in refugee Canada, refugee, 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 and you know, you know, refugee camp ended up. The same Ilan Omar, she was also in the, the WG camp. So Kenya, Somalis, they have a lot of respect, a lot of respect in, in what they call in Kenyan society. A lot of respect in Kenyan authority at large. So the level of integration between the two, two neighboring states, you cannot, it's inimaginable, you know, you, know, you know, when it came to the integration between the, the two societies. So whatever worked for you in the 19th century, it cannot work for the 20th century, 21st century, to be honest with you. You have to, you have to, you have to read the psyche of the people. As we speak right now, there's a lot of the Kenyan expertise are working inside Somalia. A lot of, you know, you know, they have, as, as you know, as you're aware, the, you know, the, the, the cut, you know, you know, Mira traders, they generate 1.3 billion US dollar in, in Kenyan economy. Somali traders, they're also injecting four billion dollars in the economy of this Kenya. Equally the same Kenya, they're sending expertise, they're sending skilled manpowers to Somali, so, to, to Somali communities. So the level of integration you cannot imagine. So if the two, the two, the two authorities, they have, come, they have come together, discuss the issue, harmonize their views, resolve the issue once and for all. And that's the best option for, for, for both countries. Otherwise, you know what you call hooliganism and what you call pooling, it will not work. So, in fact, in this case, it be, you know, it became a purple, you know, it, 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 it became a purple for Farbaj himself. Was, in fact, you saw the, for the last two years, you know, the guy, when he came to power, Somehow he was unpopular. Now he became a hero, national hero for this issue. So why are you making national hero for this guy? For for for, for no apparent reason. So what I'm saying basically is, uh, these two neighbor states they must come to the census. They have to cool down the tension. Otherwise, the two communities will not accept that. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Abdul Wahab. And uh, that is what he's saying, actually. There is no need for creating more tension. The two countries, that is Kenya and Somalia, must come uh, together, talk in a round table, and, uh, and you know, so have solution or get solution uh, for what is happening uh, right now. Because he's saying the international community is watching Kili, and this might lead to a lot of uh, negative reactions from the international community. That is uh, Hamza Yusuf, live for us from uh, Garissa's Kenyans. Keep an eye on that uh, maritime border dispute between Kenya and Somalia. And that report brings us to a short break.